It's、um, one of those things that I always think about between Canada and China in our relationship. We're so very lucky between two nations where we have so many things in common, and one of which, of course, are people like myself who are immigrants. My parents who were born in China, who came to Canada to establish themselves here, and we have many newcomers today who's come. And between that exchange, we have been able to build relationships, and from that, we have seen societies. We have the Chinese benevolent. Association, the Chinese Freemasons, the Chinese Cultural Center, who's done so much work for so long, and now we have a new generation, newcomers coming forward, bringing us to a different level, another level in terms of that exchange and that relationship. For that work, I am very grateful because when you do that work, you are promoting harmony between cultures, between countries, for the betterment of humanity. And one of the things people always say. About what bridges people together, food they say is one thing, but I would also say art, which is from our heart and it is our soul, and that's what brings us together as well. And you've highlighted that with this society and the work of this society. And of course, we know that cultural exchange is not just societal. Uh, environment is also the larger environment as well, our surroundings around us, and there's that peacefulness and that harmonious culture that brings us together and that allows us to thrive as well. So I want to say thank you for your leadership in bringing this forward, President Wang, and all of our community leaders. And I want to say a special thank you to the delegation who's here from China for bringing a part of China here to Canada as we engage in this cultural exchange、uh, work. And with that,、uh, my friends, congratulations to all of you. And I look forward to continuing to work with you as we continue to build our friendships between Canada and China. Thank you. 嗯，好，那感谢我们啊、呃，关慧珍国会议员啊，我简单的呢把他刚才说的话呢给大家啊、呃、稍稍的总结一下啊、呃，我们关慧珍国会议员的话，他刚才有提到说，呃，他的父母呢当年就是从中国移民来的，所以说呢，他非常能够感受到就是中国移民早期啊、呃、来到加拿大来对加拿大社会所做的贡献，所以他今天也非常开心以这个国会议员的身份呢来欢迎远道从中国浙江来的代表团，然后他说我们加拿大呢啊。呃就像刚才苏玉道国会议员也有强调的，就是特别的推崇一个多元文化。那多元文化呢，不单单是说我们啊、呃，只是把某个地域这样分开，其实更多的讲的是一个融合和发扬光大。另外，他也特别感谢啊，我们这个和和文化研究会呢，选择在列治文来成立。他还有特别提到，其实我们华人啊、呃，来到加拿大这么多年来呢，一直对建设加拿大做了很大的贡献。还有提到今天我们有看到啊，老乔的代表啊，我们啊，中华会馆的代表啊，我们。机构的代表啊，呃，所以呢，呃，文化中心的代表，所以他说，其实老一辈的呃华侨呢，在加拿大做了很大的贡献。那现在我们看到更多的这个新的侨团，像我们陈主席啊、呃、代表的这个加拿大华人社团联席会，就是新的侨团呢，在加拿大也会发，也正在发挥呢更大的贡献。所以从华人的这个角度呢，已经有了一个很好的传承。所以他也希望接下来，那么随着我们今天和和文化研究会的这个成立，还有各位这个新老侨团的在场。的一个见证啊，那还有包括我们加拿大的这个政府的代表，我们中领馆的，我们孔总也是亲自啊到场的一个支持和见证。他希望呢，可以在未来呢，这个华人在加拿大可以做出更多的贡献，更多的去推动加拿大的一个族裔的融合。